Welcome to the HUD Environmental Review Online System eTutorial. This is one in a series of video tutorials on completing an environmental review through HEROES. This video will show you how to navigate through HEROES and explain basic navigational symbols and conventions that are used throughout the system. After logging in, you'll be automatically taken to the My Environmental Reviews dashboard. All HEROES screens have a blue banner which provides hyperlinks to the HEROES website and to the System User Guide. Located just below the blue banner is the main menu bar. At any time, you can return to the dashboard by clicking My Environmental Reviews. The Reports tab generates a report summarizing the responsible entity's environmental review data. The Admin tab allows users to edit their contact information. HEROES administrators can also edit privileges for users within their organization in the Admin section. Press the Logout button to log out of the system. The dashboard shows a chart of all environmental reviews associated with you and your organization and button options for taking action on a review. Reviews can be sorted or filtered by clicking on the desired column header or entering keywords in the column headers text box. Search filters can be entered in multiple text boxes at the same time. The table will only display environmental reviews that match all entered filters. You can edit or view an existing environmental review by selecting the radio button next to the appropriate project and clicking the edit or view buttons at the bottom of the screen. You may need to scroll down to find these buttons. The View 701516 Authority to Use Grant Funds button can be used to view a HUD Form 701516 after it has been certified by HUD or the state agency. From this dashboard, you can also start a new environmental review or go to the Tiered Review dashboard where you can manage your tiered reviews. Once you are editing or viewing a review, you will notice the side menu located on the left side of the screen. You can use the side menu to navigate to specific screens. The side menu is dynamic and shows the screens that can be accessed at that time. Throughout the e-tutorials, the side menu will be highlighted to show your place within the review. When conducting an environmental review within HEROES, a number of questions and fields must be completed. The fields required by the system or by regulation are indicated by a red asterisk next to the field. If a required field is not completed, an error message will appear at the top of the screen when you attempt to save the page. You may need to scroll up to the top of the screen to see the error message. The blue information icon will display regulatory guidance, suggested practices, or strategies for using heroes. In some places, hovering over the icon symbol will display a message describing the function available. Text boxes have varying character limits. For example, 60 characters for title boxes and 4,000 characters for long narratives. Environmental review documentation, such as maps, photos, and related documents, can be uploaded directly into HEROES. The system supports the file types listed here. To upload a document, click Upload File, browse for the correct file from your desktop or other location, and select the file or files you want to attach. A file that has been selected can be canceled for upload by clicking the Cancel button or symbol. When you have selected the correct files, click the Upload button. After a document is uploaded, the file can be removed by clicking the X next to the file name on the screen. Reviews can be canceled from the dashboard or within certain screens. The Cancel Review button cancels the entire environmental review. You will be prompted to confirm your intent to cancel and to provide a reason. The environmental review will remain in the dashboard even when the review has been canceled. If you choose to reopen a canceled review, you can do so by choosing the Reopen File icon on the dashboard next to the review. Users can save information entered in the system and navigate between screens using the various save options. These include Save and Continue, Save and Exit, Save and Go Back, and Save. 
Be sure to use the save buttons while working in Heroes to avoid losing any work if the system times out. Due to HUD IT system protocols, if you are inactive in Heroes for 20 minutes, you will be logged out of the system. You will receive a three-minute warning beforehand. It is important to save your work regularly to avoid losing it if you are timed out of the system. You can log out of Heroes by clicking on the Log Out button at the top of the screen. Once you click the button, a page will appear confirming that you are no longer logged in. You will then be taken back to the login page. You should now be able to navigate your way through Heroes. Thank you for your participation. This concludes the e-tutorial on navigating Heroes. For more information on how to use Heroes, watch the other videos in the Heroes e-tutorial series. For additional tutorials and resources, go to the 1CPD Resource Library.